Well, welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and today I'm going to be installing a kit I was sent by Radioactive, link will of course be in the description, for a Dart Zone Max Outlaw. I've got a lovely pair of modded ones here, and I'm going to be putting one of the kits into one of them. I'll be using the other one as my control group, and then depending on how it ends up performing, if it ends up being something that would be useful for me, um, I'll install the other one as well, or I may take the kit out of this one, buy another pair of Outlaws, and put the kits into that instead. Depending, right now these would work very well for an HVZ or for something like Afterworlds, except Afterworlds doesn't allow half darts yet, and probably won't. Um, but we're going to take a look. We're going to put it in the right-handed one because so we'll need to take the holster setup off of it and then we'll take it apart. If you're curious about the kit that I have on my Outlaws, I have a whole video on this particular mod uh, where I got the kit and, and all of that. So the kit has several parts. We have a replacement barrel which Having an O-ring should have a better seal. We'll see how that works out. We have a replacement O-ring, presumably for the plunger head. And we have an upgraded spring, as well as a series of spring spacers to allow you to really finely tune what you want FPS-wise. So let's start with the plunger tube O-ring. I will be lubricating with Super Lube, available from Out of Darts. Okay, the barrel has a ring around it that just has a clip that pops it loose so you can then get it get it on there. The original one had a, a cutout that is what holds it in place. That should do. Okay, that's everything in, so I'm going to button it back up and we will compare the performance. Train! So the first thing that I've discovered that's slightly disappointing is it's not compatible with the muzzle kit that I have on here. Uh, this piece of plastic would need to go further forward. What's happening is it's coming back and then it's getting caught and it won't go back in um, because it's getting misaligned just enough that the, uh, the plastic is hooking. I wonder if I can shift this further down. I imagine it's glued. Doesn't seem to want to move. Looks like it's glued. Anyway, I'm going to test it without the muzzle on there just so I can see what the difference is uh, performance wise. Um, that, that seems to seal nicely. We'll see. We'll see. The Prime is decidedly heavier. It is, in fact, a weaker spring. A lot of the complaints that people had about this was that it was really hard to prime one-handed. So the goal here was to make a lighter prime, but hopefully similar performance by having a superior barrel, I assume. We're gonna go to the chronograph and find out. Right, we'll start with the control, the one that's still got the original spring and barrel, and it's coming in. 107, 106, 99, 109, 116, 99. So, yeah, some of that might be the cylinder I have in here. Let's see about the lighter one. Again, much lighter prime, but now we're getting 101, 83, 98, 92, 98, 83. So we are losing a little bit of power, but not a whole lot for how much lighter that prime is. Um, Obviously, the next question I have is what would happen if you used the heavier spring with this barrel? So I'm gonna go try that. Right! Heavier spring, new barrel. 137. 125. 123. 124. 124. And 133. And that's why you don't change more than one variable at a time. It makes it hard to tell what's making the difference. So the barrel does seem to do a little bit better. I was doing better than the other one. I want to try it with the original cylinders if I can find them. Original cylinder. 134. 130. 115. 136. 142. 132. So, a little bit better, maybe? But the barrel is definitely an improvement. Uh, and if you're looking for a lighter prime, or you're wanting to use it for lighter games, definitely cool. You also have the spring spacers, so you can really 
tone it or dial it into what you want. Um, I may see if I can print my own additional uh, ring up here in order to get it to work with that kit, or I may just acquire another set of these and have a lighter one. That's probably what I will do, um, is get a, a, another pair and make a, a much lighter prime pair for, uh, for fast work. Anyway, yeah, neat kit. Definitely very drop-in, very easy to put in. Uh, does seem to have some improvements, definitely, with that lighter spring. That's really nice, so... There you have it. Link to it will be down in the description. Radioactive's kit for the outlaw. Get yourself one. I lied. I decided to do one more test. Uh, I've got the light spring in here, but the largest of the spring spacers. And it is still a considerably lighter prime than with the, the stock spring. And I want to see what kind of performance we're getting now. 114. 113. 120. 113, 110, 115. So, still less than with the heavier spring, but still around that stock performance. I believe these things were around 120 stock, I hope. Um, but again, a much lighter prime. So, you're getting the same performance as you had before, but a much lighter prime. So, definitely uh, a viable kit if you're trying to get the same performance but with a less a lighter prime and obviously if you don't put the spring spacer in you can get lower performance and a much lighter prime so definitely i feel a worthwhile kit if you really want to use the outlaw and you're you're worried about your thumbs getting tired so there you have it once again link in the description get yourself one thank you for watching <laughs>